The Up and Adam Show is sponsored by the Topflix app. Discover your next favorite movie and TV series and where to stream it. Explore trending titles, popular trailers, entertainment news, and much more. All in one free app. Download it on the App Store today for free. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Up and Adam Show. I'm your host, Adam Lupus. Today, I have a very special guest. Comes all the way from the UK, and he's an amazing, talented artist. Please welcome Sam Brunel. Sam, how's it going, man? I'm good, man. It's not uh, good. Uh, um, so, so Sam, you know, I mentioned that you're an artist. You, uh, you do amazing work. I see some of the stuff you have in the background there. You got, I uh, got, was it, uh, big, a little mic, right? Yeah, just a lot of different things. Yeah. So I've got, well, I've just been working on these. I've never had time to. Wow. Uh, Toys R Us, man. One of my, that's my childhood store, man. Look at yeah. that. You got Shrek, Jimmy Neutron. Awesome, dude. It can be mentally draining as well, to be honest. But when you have too much time on your hands, it can mess up with your, with your head. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, try, I tend to like give myself breaks and um, yeah, just do other things like um, spend time with my family and yeah, basically yeah. Really, just balance it all out. And yeah, luckily I'm allowed to go to work as well now. So that gives me time to just readjust my head and then go back into what I was doing. Yeah, of course. You got you to gotta make time for everything, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can't because... Uh, you know, as much as you love drawing, too much of one thing is sometimes uh, it's really stressful. You know what I mean? Going back, I've done my proudest one was probably the Justin Bieber one. Um, there, there was a like a competition with Adidas, and um, I've got it on my wall. I'll get it down in a minute. Um, yeah, basically it was a competition with Adidas, and um, it was like drawing a selection for Justin Bieber and. Um, uh, I did a few shirt designs. It was um, very basic, very because I was up and coming at the time, and um, very basic stuff and like stalls. And then, and then there was one drawing I did. I there was like a photo shoot Justin Bieber did, and he was on a bike, and I changed it all up and made it into like a t-shirt design. So I hand drew it all, put like the Adidas logo on there, and then put it all together. And it was all digital. I did it all digitally. And mm-hmm. the next thing I know, it was my 21st birthday. I was just sitting at home like this. And <laughs> all I could hear, I was like, yo, Sam. I was like, whoa. Looking at my phone. I looked at my phone. It was Justin Bieber. Saying, look no. at what it's awesome, man. It's like, brilliant. Um, the T-shirt come signed by him. And I was just like, whoa, this is insane. But that was just like incredible i'll get the um i'll get the, th- get the yeah thing yeah out. yeah show me actually you know but, but speaking of that though it's funny you mentioned that 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 was um i saw i saw uh, on your page justin bieber posted about your shirt he's like yeah. thanks sam great work that was awesome man i didn't i'll be honest i didn't think that was real i thought that was you were just like saying yeah, oh, like i wish of, this actually happened a lot of people um thought it was fake but it was not like, yeah that's all dude this is awesome man and then there's the message that saying that's yeah. that's amazing, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you should you should feel very proud of yourself, man. That's like that's, that's some good that's some good stuff right there, dude. Yeah, it's like a one in a million chance that could happen. Do you know what I mean? Hey, yeah, one one million chance, but you were you were, you were that one, right? So you yeah, know what I mean. Cool. Sometimes it's the, that's the best thing to uh, it's the best thing to do. Sometimes I think that goes back to a person like yourself following your dreams. You know, you know yeah. when we spoke prior to this interview, you know we were going back and forth a bit. Uh, you yeah. know, you, you briefly told me about your upbringing and stuff like that and the struggles you had to go through, right? And you're a great, great example of following your dreams. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, they go through these tough times in their life and it kind of brings them down. But for you, you know, instead of giving up or saying, oh, I can't do this, you really push through, right? You know, um, you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, you'll get into detail more about it as well. But, you know, you, you were at the hospital a lot as a kid, but you, that's where you kind of learned to draw. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was like your, that was like the stepping stone, right? Um. So, so I, I guess my question to you is that, like, what, what, what kind of advice would you give to someone trying to follow their dreams? I mean, especially a person like yourself, like, w- with what you went through. Just literally keep going and just, like I say, there were, there were things that will affect you for your life, what is major and is big, and I uh, just love, like, that in itself will make you push even harder. So, like, 
like with my disability and the, the way I um, conduct myself is mm. through like my family and with like they didn't know how to take what I was doing at the time so like they just thought it was a fairy tale dream like it's, just, it's never gonna happen like I want to do this for the rest of my life and because if you had a, a rough upbringing and stuff like that which a lot of people did as well I think I was telling you I had like a kidney issue back in high school and I was I, I missed like you know six months of school you know it, I mean obviously it wasn't as bad as what you went through obviously but you know I guess in a way everyone goes through their own things and everyone deals with them differently right and I guess that that you know that experience in my life made me want to be a barber right but not even just being a barber it made me want to become um like I wanted to do to, to, to do something with my life to really showcase my skills. I, I love to talk. I mean, I, I have a little bit of a stutter. I don't know if you noticed, but okay. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. Eh? I stutter a lot. So. It's okay. But, but uh, no, Sam, it's, it's really great that, that you do that. You know what I mean? You want to share a little bit of your, of your story about that with us? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So like I said before, it's mainly like, I'm not very vocal and this is my way of speaking, but like artwork mm. and like, obviously yours is, through your show and mm. like, barber and stuff and look yeah like I say I really struggle with like one-to-ones as well and um, I'm starting to get there now but like I did an interview before and they told me like it was a podcast before and they told me to talk and I couldn't I just broke down I was like I can't like and um, hopefully I can get past that now and with this show hopefully it could give me a big boost in confidence and speak to more people like yourself absolutely so, which Shrek movie is your favorite this is gonna say a lot about you number two <laughs> number two okay dude you're, you're my best friend that's, it. that's yeah, it number two is the best one the soundtrack yeah. and the whole story yeah. even though I hate fairy godmother I still love it it's just the best <laughs> one yeah. is amazing dude nice that's awesome bro um, what's a few more to show? Yeah, show, show us all your show us all your work, man. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah, okay. right. So this one, oh, these are like it's my life's work, right here. That, That's my favorite. That's my favorite one, by the way. That's my favorite one. This, this is huge. This took around about fifty hours. Um, non- some days, like constantly. So I'd get up at like nine o'clock. And then I'd start, and then I'd have a little break. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. You got you got Dennis the Menace. You got like, the Mask, Mrs. Doubtfire, Good Burger. I can name all though. That's sick. Yeah, yeah. Fresh Prince. Yeah, Mask, Good Burger, Home Alone, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Super Mario, a Stuart Little. Who who's on the, who's on the bottom right corner? Who's that? Right, the kid. This one. Yeah. Oh, that's Home Alone. And then you've got next to those Backstreet Boys. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. They got Jumanji on there. Yeah. You know, it's so cool. You got all those little details in there, but it makes the whole painting, like, no, sorry, the whole drawing stand out. Eh? I'd love that shock factor of people. Oh, wow. I didn't expect you to do that. And that's what I, I get the buzz off the mouse is like that different style. And yeah, it's good, man. No, it, yeah. it makes you. It, it probably makes you feel really good, man. Honestly, when yeah, someone recognizes your work, it, it's it's really cool. You know, it's a good sometimes feeling. It works, sometimes it doesn't, but you learn from it, and then you go back to what you originally started doing. The reason why it's so hard for me because I'm a terrible drawer, right? But yeah. since since you have since you have the talent, you just I, I I guess in a way, you have your own kind of like you kind of go with the flow too, right? You're just kind of whatever yeah. you feel, yeah. you do, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the best way. I I think sometimes. And, um, you know, from what you're telling me, you do plan it, but you kind of just go with the flow. You do you, whatever you vision. That's what you put on the thing. That's the most important thing, because I feel like when you're on the spot, when you're on the ball like that, and you're quick, yeah. it blossoms into more authentic stuff. If you really plan it too hard, which obviously you don't, I'm just saying like in general, when someone does that, I guess they kind of lose that authenticity. You know what I mean? They, they, because they're planning it so much. They're making it so strict. Like, okay, it has to be this it has to be that. But you're like, you know what? There's no rules. I'm going to draw whatever I want, what I want, what I like. And then that's it. Yeah. That's a bonus as well. Like people like it, like you say, and, and that's a major like uplift as well that people like it because most artists do stuff like that. And people are like, Oh, He's just doing what he wants. I I, I am bothered then, do you know what I mean? But like I say, with requests and stuff like that, I really struggle with. Because like you say before, you was like, I just go with it. 
and it's a completely different style. You have to have a time time limit, a, um, a, a day and time to finish it. Uh, so it's a massive it's like it's there's no creativity behind it. There's nothing behind it, and it's a shame because I'd love to do it. And there's just nothing in it. I, I like the creative flow, like you say, and mm. uh, the things that blossom into like a big poster. And like I say, like, yeah, just do what I want. So yeah, it's... oh, that's sick, man. Yeah. That is um, awesome, dude. Do you know what I think? My worst struggle is the most successful. Like I look at that and think, um, it's not as good as I wanted it to be. You know, when it, something that was quite successful or quite big. you're kidding, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I was, like, I was just thinking, I look at it and think that's terrible. How has he shared that? It's just like there's other things he could have shared. Um, but he chose that one. <laughs> it's the worst job in the world. Dude, that no. <laughs> Dude, I, you know what, you know what it is, man. Because again, I'll, I'll, I'll relate it to myself. Even when I, when I, re, when I rewatch these, like you know, episodes and stuff like that that I make, I'm always like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have said that, or ah, oh, doesn't yeah. sound that great, or I'm, I'm too awkward, or something like that. But I think we're all too picky on ourselves. But it's good to be like that because it pushes you to be better. Because now, dude, I'll be honest with you, that's an amazing drawing that that deserved to be posted. But yeah. you probably think to yourself, there's always room to grow and do better. You know? Yeah. Even though, like, I don't know how you can get better than that. To be honest with you, one of the most iconic superhero, a uh, super villains ever. Yeah, I love that. Um, I used felt for that one. I, I I normally use pencil, but I use a lot of felt. What's felt. what? What's felt? They're like um, oh sorry, these they're like felt tips. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. So the the more like vibrant. Um, kind of like a marker looking, right? Yeah, marker, yeah. You know, man. We oh, call perfect. Them, we call oh, you call them felt, you call them felt, yeah. eh? In the UK. Oh, that's awesome. That's, uh, the Godfather. You always gotta watch the Godfather movies on Christmas. That's like an Italian <laughs> tradition. <laughs> a Christmas film. You know what? It's not really a Christmas film. You know why? I think because like, you know what? Honestly, dude, I don't know why we do it, but it's just <laughs> one of those things we do. I don't even know why. I don't even think in the movie there was a part where it snowed. Maybe there's like one scene where it was snowing, but like, it does not, it's not a Christmas movie, which it makes no sense, but that's Italians for you, man. Like, we're, we're just, we're, we're just so like all over the place. No, no I've never watched Godfather. Never oh, watched you gotta watch it, man. Dude, yeah. you, you gotta, you gotta check out, um, so a good, a good buddy of mine, uh, I met, I'm actually, I met him on Instagram too. And we're really close now, right? Um, he's, uh, the account's called Mafia Chronicles. And you know, shout, shout out to Justin. Yeah, you mean him have um, a, a separate podcast page where we just break down mom movies. So if you're not into watching them, if you ever want to learn about them or if you ever want to like, what, you know, hear about them, we, we, we break down every movie. So we did all the Godfathers so far. We did all three of them. And they're pretty, they're pretty good. I'm not going to lie. The best. We're like Robin Williams, Johnny Depp, Jim Carrey, um, Adam Sandler. Oh, you put Click in there? I love yeah. that movie. Love it. You got Michael Keaton's Batman. You yeah. got Shrek. You got um, Mr. Bean. Can you, see, can you tell me who that is? Yeah. Um, let me let me guess. Yeah, don't give me a guess. Is uh oh is is that, is that a Johnny Depp character? Nope. No, hmm, I don't know. Oh, is that a Mike Myers character? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Got a hat on. That's um that's Sting. Um, oh. Getting there, you're getting there. Wait, 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 one sec. It's Mike Myers. Who does he? Oh, is that the Love Guru? No, no, that's a terrible movie. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta tell me. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Oh shit, you're right. Wayne's World. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, Party on, that. Wayne. Party on, go. go. <laughs> And even my favorite shows, my favorite movies, I, I 80s, 90s, man. You know, I, I love that stuff. So I want to make this show kind of like how Johnny Carson show was. And again, he was the best there ever was. I'm not saying I'm going to be like him, but I want to make it have like a, like a Saturday Night Live feel with a talk show feel. So I want to have people doing skits on here too. Be honest, Sam. Did, did anybody tell you how to become, did anybody give you tips how to become famous or rich or successful? No. But yeah, no, you did it on your own. And look how far you've come. That once you take someone else's advice, it, it you know why it doesn't work because everyone's story and situation is different. Exactly. I, that's why I'll never sit here and be like, guys, little tip, do this. 
who the fuck am I? I'm nobody. I'm, I'm 21 years old. I don't know anything. You know what I mean? I'm just going about life. I'm, I'm having fun, you know? And it's like, that's what people should be doing, man. That's how, and, and you know what, Sam, this is why you're very inspirational because, you know, earlier, I remember you said that you, you like to draw because it's fun and you want to do it because you love it. Yeah. yeah. Now what you, at one point you never said, Oh, I want to become famous or successful or this, that. You just said, I want to draw. I love it. I started a young age. This is what got me through the hospital days. And I want to do this. Uh, yeah, it's my, it's my, it's, it's, it's literally all emotions going to that piece as well. Like all the bad stuff outside of that drawing goes away. Like it's, that's what I like about it. Like you just drift into your own little space in your own little world. And um, obviously like now, like I've, like risen in followers and stuff and it can be a burden because it like uh, you question yourself a lot but I need recently I've started to brush that off and think I need to get back to where I was like how how I got those followers and how it rose me to get those fans basically and yeah. I'm starting to get that flow back again and like all this stuff like I had in my head for years and years and then obviously social media has just made it something incredible and it's insane that the amount of people that love it and connect with it and that's the main thing I love about it because you get people with tattoos on my work and I'm like whoa that, that is like it, it's on their skin for life do you know what I mean and, and Sam listen you know I want to thank you again for being on this show you know what I mean and sharing your story because it was honestly really inspirational you know what I mean and uh and I know we're going to keep in touch I know Great things are going to uh, great things are going to come out of what you're doing, and uh, I really want to do this again, man. One of these days. Yeah, definitely. And hopefully, I'll, I'll gain a bit more confidence then as well. Hey, so. Sam, listen, you had a lot of confidence today, probably more than me. Again, I was telling you, I, w- I was shy speaking to you, man. You know what yeah, I mean? so, <laughs> I'm so, nothing. I'm just like an, an artist behind. Board. Yeah, I know, but still, <laughs> man, it's like I, I didn't think you were gonna answer. So you know, it's awesome that we we did this. It was awesome that we did this today, man. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, that's wicked. And um, obviously, keep up what you're doing, and hopefully, you'll get some big guests on here, something like Brad Pitt. And <laughs> you Brad, never know. Hey, Brad Pitt, if you if you're watching Brad Pitt, come on, come on the show. Yeah. I'll pick pick your brain a little bit. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching today. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to put Sam Brunel's artwork down below. And guys, make sure to follow his Instagram at Little Sam's Art for the best content ever, best artwork ever. Sam, thanks again, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Sure. Thank you. Thanks so much.